hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm gonna be giving you part 10 of what if naruto was neglected by his family and guys i'm only gonna be releasing one what if on each channel tonight so sorry for that but i'm gonna be posting a new episode of what if naruto had multiple people sealed inside of him over on anime king so stay in tune for that guys and I hope you enjoy. And remember to get this one to 100 like as usual. Share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also, if you're new and this is the first time you hear my voice and you enjoy the videos on both channels, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join Anime King and Anime King 2 and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you guys for your help and your support. And remember to comment down below and tell me if you're new. I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this new episode. So, the last time we left off, Naruto helped out Tsunade against Orochimaru. But in the end, Orochimaru retreated with Kabuto. As Orochimaru was shocked to see the state that Kabuto was in, after Naruto blasted him with a single attack. As Orochimaru was now completely interested in the white fox to see what he was able to do to Kabuto who was able to heal his body in a couple of minutes but because of Naruto he could not heal for a long while. So Naruto and his team went back to the village to report everything while Jiraiya brought back Sanade to the village as Sanade met up with everyone else, Kushina and the other girls. Jiraiya then told Minato all about what he saw and the white fox using the Rasengan as Minato put everything together as he told Jiraiya that the white fox is actually his long lost son Naruto. Minato then sent Jiraiya to the hidden mist with a note as her company was needed at Konoha and she must bring along the white fox with her as Naruto agreed and they went off. Arriving at the village, Minato burst the news on her that he knew that the white fox is his son but seeing that Naruto never graduated the academy and became a true ninja inside of Konoha, he was not a part of Konoha, so he was legally a part of the mist. And Kushina begged the Mizukage if they could start calling him by his real name, as she allowed that. As they went back to the house, Naruto, Narumi and the others were there. As the news was broke, Tsunade was confused as hell if he is Naruto the white fox and Narumi is Narumi Uzumaki are they family but Naruto explained because of what the Kayubi did he was no longer related to any of them so if you would test any of their blood it will come back negative so they are not family in the slightest. After that they hang out for the rest of the day as they went to the hot springs and the last part we left off was Uncle being a pervert. So yeah guys, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So let's begin this new episode shall we? It was now the second and final day of the Mixed Ninjas trip. Hey Naruto, do you think it is possible that you can release Krama without killing me in the process? Narumi asks as she met up with Naruto. Yeah sure. but. I need to see the seal to actually give it a try, Naruto told her. As Narumi then turned her head, realizing that she had to expose herself for him to see the seal. So they went off to a second room, as Narumi lifted up her shirt and pumped chakra to her stomach so they could see the seal. As for the next hour, all Naruto did was focus as he copied the seal to a scroll. Finally, he finished as he sat down in a chair with a sigh. Finally done. As Naruto started to stretch, you can go ahead and stretch as well. Naruto told her as the both of them had stayed there for about an hour without moving. Alright, I'll work on it by the time I get back to my village and hopefully I can get it done quickly. But don't worry, I promise I will get it to work eventually. As Narumi nodded as she wanted Kurama to be out because Kurama wanted to be out as well. As both Naruto and Narumi walked to the rest of the group, as Naruto remember when he talked to Kurenai 
flashback. This was a couple minutes after the secret came out about Naruto being the white fox and everyone had left as Kurenai was the only one there with Naruto. Hey Kurenai, how have you been since I left Naruto asked as he then noticed the sad look on Kurenai's face. You idiot she said, you couldn't even send me a letter? I mean, I thought we were actually close, really good friends, like best friends she said from you were much younger. Why did you make me think that you died out in the world somewhere alone? I told you when you were leaving to not forget about me. As Naruto was now scratching the back of his head nervously. Sorry Kurenai, I didn't want to be catched by Konoha. So I couldn't send a letter if I sent one and if it was intersected by Konoha interrogation department. I would have been really messed up. But I never forget about you. You were always like a big sister to me. Tell you what, next time you're in the mess, I'll give you my own private tour, okay? Naruto said, trying to cheer her up. As she smiled, yeah, I would like to see who took care of you for all this time, she said. End of the flashback. At the Hayuga compound, Hinata was currently in her room going through a book. Hinata, Hayashi wanted to see you in his office, one of the caretakers told her. As Hinata nodded as she got up. As Hinata went around, you asked for me father? She asked as they enter his office. Ah, yes Hinata, it has come to my attention that some people feel that you're too soft to be the leader of our clan. So the clan has decided to put you out of your natural habitat in an unpopulated area that has already been approved by the Mizukage and approved by the Hokage. Now, of course you will be watched to make sure that nothing bad happened to you, but this will toughen you up even more. Now pack your bags, you leave the mixed group tomorrow. Hayashi told his daughter without emotion. What? Father, I am not weak. You saw how I did in the tuning exams, Hinata started until her father interrupted her. Hinata, while you did good and you showed skill, you were still defeated by Neji, which caused our clan council to deem you weak and I am sorry there is nothing I can do but after you complete this task I will allow you to spend a day or two with the people in the mess your friends that you met in the tuning exams that if their cage allows you Hayashi told his daughter as Hinata was fuming inside when I become leader I'm gonna execute all of them she said no that's gonna be too far I'm going to kick them out and just put people on the council that I know and trust. I understand father, she said. As she started to walk away, Hinata, her father called out before she left. I am sorry. I am, but he was interrupted by Hinata. I know father, I understand, she said as she turned and started to walk away. After she packed, she quickly met up with the guides that she was about to travel with. As Hinata met up with a cage, so would you mind if I spend some time with Haku, Mai and Megamin? After the week is up, Hinata asks. Why, of course you can. You will have to walk through my village to get home anyways, Mei told her. Thank you Mizukage, Hinata told her, with a polite bow. Just call me Mei, I mean all my friends do. I hate all that political crap. Of course Mei, Hinata said. With a smile on her face as Naruto and the rest of them were walking towards the village exit as they then saw a cart speeding past them as Naruto saw something that caught his eye a girl was at the cart window as she was gagged and tears at her eyes he then saw that she was being pushed down by a man as Naruto dashed forward with incredible speed he landed on top of the cart Naruto broke through the roof as he stopped the man from driving the cart, as he knocked out the boat of them, and two more were at the back, as they rushed at Naruto with weapons, Naruto quickly intercepted and knocked them out. As the girls were on the ground crying, it was then Mei and the others came over there. What happened? Mei asked, as she pulled the gags from the girl's mouth. Don't worry, you're safe now, said Mei. Well, you see, we were visiting our families, and... As soon as we were near the village, 
these jerks break into our cart and took it over and they were planning to take us with them. It's all right now, said me, as she removed the ropes from them, as the two girls looked over as they thanked Naruto as well. So where are you going? Me asked them. Well, we were going back to our village. Wait, I know you, one of the girls said. You're the Miso Cage. It's an honor to meet the woman that is showing the world that women are just as strong as men, as the woman was totally fangirling over me. Um, thank you, May said, as she didn't know how to react around this woman who basically had stars in her eyes. As her sister then intervened, Sis, remember, we have to get Hinata to her location before nightfall. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry girls, I have to go. Thank you, thank you again, said the two girls. Wait, I was the one who saved you, said Naruto to himself as he looked at them as the girls were fangirling over me as she just chuckled and walked away. Looks like I was the one who saved them after all, Mei said as she looked at Naruto with a cocky smirk. As they went off at the Miss Village, Mei's group finally made it home after dropping Hinata and her Hayuga group at their designated location and they finally made it home. Finally, we're home. It seems like We've been gone for a very long time now, Megamine said. As we're going to have a time skip right here. One week later, Hinata camping over as Megamine, Haku, Mai were all waiting at the gate for Hinata as they saw her. As she looked different, her hair was all wild and messed up and she looked pissed off and angry. Before we talk or do anything. Can I get a shower and some clean clothes, Hinata said. Yeah, sure, come on. I'll let you clean up at my house, said Megamine. As they all walked in Megamine's apartment, when they got there, Hinata headed to the bathroom immediately to wash herself off. Guess it was a pretty bad trip, Haku said. As the rest of them shrugged, as they went to the Megamine living room. As Megamine was living in a good-sized apartment, well, it was practically a house, two bedrooms, a full bathroom, a kitchen and a living room and all of this was thanks to Naruto. Naruto with the money he got from his ceiling. He secretly renovated this place and set it up for her as he didn't want her to know. Seeing that he didn't want her to try and pay him back he just wanted to be a gift for her but in secret. Seeing that when she just started out to live by herself she didn't have enough money. So the only thing she knew right now is that she had a good landowner as she still pay a small amount which was ridiculous for this giant apartment but she loved it and she wanted to meet her landowner but she could never meet him. After about an hour, ah oh, that feel better said Hinata as she came out of the shower as they all were now curious how was it that bad for just a week. I mean, you were trained in school, right? Haku asks. Well, you see, the camping wasn't that bad, but the guards. I had to spar and train with them for several hours of the day and it was exhausting. I mean, they trained me till I passed out from chakra exhaustion three times this week. Hinata told them as she slightly flinched when she remembered the torture that she went through. Well then, we should make sure that these two days that you spent here are really good so you can have some good memories about the miss. Megamine told her as she was ready to have fun. Yeah, and in the end, if you want, we can always have Naruto give you a chakra holding seal or a training seal to help you out if you're going to do this again. Mai added. Yeah, that would be nice, Hinata admitted. Hey, where is Naruto anyway? I mean you guys are always usually with him, Hinata asks as she realized that the group was not with him and it was basically not complete without him here. Oh, he is still on a solo mission but he should be back tomorrow if we're lucky. But anyways, we don't need him to have fun, let's go have some quality girl time. Mai told them, causing all of them to smile and head out the door. So they enjoy and spend the entire day together just having fun. By the end of the day they went to a massage 
spa relaxing area as all four of them was getting massage. So Hinata, you have anyone special back at Konoha? That dog boy seemed to like you. Well, you see, for the first few years, I was just a shy girl in our town. So most of the guys went for Narumi, as she was more outgoing. Though, after a while, me and her became friends, and she helped build up my confidence. But the guys that go after me now, they just want to brag about being with one of Konoha's princess. Seeing that me, Ino, and Narumi. Yeah, that is what they call us, the princess. And we don't want to date any of those guys back there. Especially Kiba, he's just annoying. So, no, I don't have a boyfriend or anything like that, Hinata said. As Hinata then mumbled, but it's not like I don't have crushes, she said. But the girls heard her. Huh? You have a crush? Who is it? Megamin asked. What? I was talking that loud, Hinata said, as she looked over at the girls. Ah, uh, come on, don't be embarrassed. We promise we won't tell the guy, Mai said. But what if you guys actually know him? Hinata asked, not wanting to tell them. It's girl code, Hinata. We will never tell, said Megamin. Fine, but then you have to promise to not tell anyone. I like... As Hinata then mumbled the name so they couldn't hear her. What was that? Mai asked. I said I like... As she mumbled the name again. Hinata, we can't hear you, said Megamin. Yeah, you're talking too quiet, said Haku. As Hinata then screamed it out. It's Naruto, okay? I like him, she said. Oh, so you like our boyfriend then? My ex, as she did not show any emotion. Yeah, he is truly my first crush. After a while I thought about it, Hinata said, being very honest. Well, we can't really get mad at you, seeing that he's in the CRA, but it's up to him whether he gets with you or not. But we won't tell him, said Megamin. As she said it really awkward. Really? said Hinata. As she was happy that the girls were okay with that. Well then, I guess I need to figure out how he feels about me then. Time skip, night time. Are you sure I can stay over, Megamin? Hinata asked. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Even though you're trying to steal our boyfriend, you're still our friend. Megamin then noticed that Hinata took it seriously. Hey Hinata calm down, I'm just kidding. As Hinata calmed down, as she quietly set up the bed to her liking. Well, see you guys tomorrow, Mai said, as she walked off to her house. Back with Mai, she was walking to her house, as she then sent something behind her, as she turned around, as she smiled, as she rushed up to Naruto and gave him a big hug. You finally finished your mission, she said. Yeah, I finished my mission. Yeah, and I did miss my girls. But I should tell me that I'm back, said Naruto. Oh, she's not here right now. So how about we go watch a movie and snuggle until she come for us? Mai asked him while still holding on to him. Yeah, I guess, said Naruto, as she held on to his hand and brought him over to her house. After going inside, she grabbed a romantic movie as the both of them sat on the couch and started to watch it. As Mai then relaxed her head on Naruto, finally, I'm with him alone. It's nice to be with him and the other girls, but I get my time with him, she said. Come to think about it, we are perfect for each other. We're just like the couple in this movie, Mai thought, as she watched a couple in the movie fall in love. But what she didn't realize was that the movie was rated pretty high. So towards the end of the video, the both of them had sex. As both Naruto and Mai stood there and watched, the sex went on for a while. As there was a lot of noise and the both of them were blushing heavily. Well, that was interesting. Naruto told her as he scratched the back of his head, still blushing as the movie was over. Yeah, sorry about that. I guess I should check the rating next time. But I wonder why my sis has a movie like this. As Naruto chuckled when he heard that. So, said Mai. Did you like that? She asked. As she looked at Naruto, as she then turned her head. What do you mean? Well, sis said that that is all that guys want. Well, yeah. But when have I been normal? Said Naruto. 
So how do you know that is all I want? He said. Well, you're right about that. But I bet that video got you a bit hot, she told him. I don't know what you're talking about, said Naruto. Alright, then prove it. How? Naruto asked. Alright, take off your pants and show me, she said. What? No, said Naruto. You know how your sister is about. With stuff like that, right? What if she comes in and see me with my pants off? She will actually kill me, said Naruto. She's not. Come on, prove it, she said as she jumped on top of Naruto wrestling him until she finally got his pants off. I knew it, she said, but then she froze realizing what she has done. As she then hold on to his underwear. What are you doing, said Naruto. As he tried to stop her, but it was too late as she ripped it off. As Naruto stood there in silence, and she was as well, as she stretched out her hand. This feels weird, she said. As she then looked up at Naruto, who basically had steam coming off of him, as she started to kiss him, and he couldn't fight it any longer, as the both of them started to make out for like 10 minutes. Screw it, she said. We don't need to wait. What? said Naruto. We don't need to wait till marriage, she said. It's time that we take this relationship to the next level. Are you ready? she asked him. Naruto gulped as he looked at the door. Are you sure you want to do this? He asked, but she didn't answer as she slowly got up and started to remove her clothes. As the boat of them mimic what they saw in the movie, and after a while the boat of them collapsed on the couch, as the boat of them are breathing heavily, as they just fall asleep. After doing that, they were pretty tired. As they fall asleep, not realizing that the boat of them were still naked. Some time later, the both of them heard someone opening the door as the both of them snapped their eyes open immediately. As May was coming, they quickly cleaned off the fluid on the couch as they rushed towards my room. My, I am home, said May, as she was surprised that the living room light was on, but no one was in here. Huh? Where is she? May wonder. As she saw light in Mai's room, as she went over there, not giving a damn about her sister's privacy and opened the door. Oh sis, I was just changing, said Mai, as she was now in her pajamas, as she looked at the bed, as Naruto's hiding under it. Mei then walked over as she sat down on Naruto's bed and let out a heavy sigh. I think we need to get you a new bed or something. This is kind of stiff, Mei told her. As she noticed, it was a soft as she remembered. As Naruto was now sweating, as the only thing he managed to grab was his boxers and put it on. His shirt and his pants were under the bed, but he couldn't move because he couldn't make a noise. Never mind that, I have gotten used to it, Mai told her as she was sweating like crazy. As she turned around not facing her sister to make sure that she did not see the look on her face. Oh, by the way, Naruto came over here. He came back from his mission, but he left seeing that you weren't here. He will give you the mission report tomorrow, Mai told her sister. Ah, uh, well that is fine. I had a rough day at work, so I think I will go to bed early. I just want to say good night, Mei told her. Okay then, good night, Mai told her, as she let out a small breath of relief, thinking that they got away with it. But then, Mei started to sniff the ear. What's that smell? Mei asked. Huh? You must be too tired. I don't smell anything, Mai said. You're probably right, said Mei. Well, good night, as she got up. Good night, sis, said Mai. As she left the room, Mai then locked the door behind her as Naruto came from under the bed. Man, that was close, Mai whispered as Naruto slipped from out under the bed. Yeah, I know, but it was enjoyable, Naruto told her with a smile as he gave her a quick kiss. Night, he said. As he then head to the window, good night my lover, Mai whispered back with a small wink as he blushed. As Naruto put on his things as he jumped through the window and hopped to his house. As Naruto got home, he collapsed on his bed as he was happy that he wouldn't get killed by me. The next morning, Naruto got up as he said a few words to Yoshiko and Ayaka as he then went off. As Naruto arrived to see Mai. Hey Mai, how are you doing? He asked. 
sore, she said. Um, sorry about that. I guess I got carried away. As Mike and chuckle, I knew you would get all worried. I just wanted to see how you would react, she said. Oh, so you're okay then? Nerta asked her with a worried look. Don't worry, I'm fine. I mean, I'm actually a bit sore, but I'm happy that we take our relationship to the next level. Plus, I had just as much fun as you did. So, we need to make sure we have some fun again real soon, she said, with lust in her eyes. Hey guys, said Megamine as they looked around. See Megamine, Haku, and Hinata walking up to them. Let's go shopping, Megamine cried out. As Naruto started to mumble, Come on, don't be angry, said Haku as she held on to Naruto's hand as she dragged him away. As Megamine then noticed that Mai was limping a bit. Hey Mai, are you okay? Megamine asked. Yeah, why? Well, you're limping a bit. Oh, am I? Mai said. I must have pulled something without noticing, or something, Mai said, as she looked over at Naruto. Okay, so do you want to sit out today or something? The best way to fix that is just by relaxing, said Megamine. But Haku, they saw the look that Mai gave Naruto. Why are you blushing, Haku asked, suspiciously, as she then released Naruto's arm and looked at Naruto, as Naruto's face was red as well. You're hiding something, said Haku. And remember, I am a medical ninja, so you can't hide those things from me. As Haku walked over to Mai, as the other girls got interested as well. Well, um, I can't tell you guys here. Let's go to the park, she said. As they went to the park, as all of them were there, as Naruto was blushing like crazy, as Haku noticed that. So, spill it. Well, Naruto came from his mission and Sis wasn't there for him to give her the report and things got a little hot and heavy as Hinata and Megamine were confused by the statement but Haku got it as she explained everything so you two had sex she said out loud as Mai just slowly nodded as she blushed like crazy as all of the girls then looked back at Naruto even Haku was blushing as they glared at him how about I go and get you guys some food to snack on, okay? Naruto said, as he vanished with a shunshin out of there. As Megamine then looked at me, what happened? Did he push you into this? How did this happen? She said. Well, we were actually watching a movie, and it kind of went to that. He was actually the one who tried to stop it, saying if I was ready. But I guess I was, she said, blushing like crazy again. And by the way, Mai said, why the hell would he try to force anything? Why would you even think that? She asked. You know, you're right. Thinking about a normal guy, he would try to force someone into it. But when we think about Naruto, we have to remember, he's a lot different from a normal guy. He's much kinder and sweeter, said Haku. Yeah, you're right, said Megamine. While Hinata just stood there, taking in everything. So... How was it? Haku asked, making Mai blush again. What? said Mai. How was Naruto? Haku asked. Well, you see it in the movies, but to actually experience it. Girls, it is wonderful, said Mai, as she then went into her own private world remembering what happened last night. Until Naruto finally showed up back with several dangos. Hey guys, I got us some dango. I hope that is okay, Naruto said. Yeah, it's fine, said Megamine. As Mai then got up. Yeah, let's go enjoy the rest of our day, she said, as she wanted to drop the subject. A little while later at the shopping district. No, said Naruto. Come on, Naruto, it will look good on you, Megamine said, as she held up a black, style on full pants. What don't you get about my nickname? Being the white fox mean I have to. We're all white. As they went and go over some things, seeing that it was getting close to lunchtime, Hinata and Naruto went off so that they could find a restaurant where they could eat at. So Hinata, how's your life back in Konoha anyways? Naruto asked her, trying to start up a conversation. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I get to train my sister. For the ninja life and Narumi and the others are still doing good, Hinata told him happily. Hinata then took in a deep breath, Naruto, 
I want to say something to you. What is it? Well, I kind of have a crush on someone. She told him while blushing. But the thing is, I don't know if he like me back, she said. I am sure that he will like you. I mean, you're strong, nice, and a strong Kuroichi. Who wouldn't like you, he said, making her blush even more. As Hinata saw the other girls coming, thinking that they found a place. As Naruto then turned to Hinata, Hinata, I have always been oblivious about things, as they were currently in a crowded restaurant, but let me see if I got this right. As he then gave her a kiss on the lips. As everyone stood there shocked, everyone in the restaurant turned as they watched. The most famous ninja here, just doing this out in the open. As they break the kiss, Hinata then fell to the ground with a bright, bright red blush. So, I wasn't oblivious, Naruto asked. Hinata, he said, but she had passed out. So the other girls picked her up as they just brought her back to Megami's house. As they all sat around and waited for Hinata to wake up from her fainting spell. As Hinata opened her eyes as she saw them looking at her, but she didn't see Naruto. Hey guys, I had the best dream. Naruto just kissed me. Man, why did I have to wake up? Hinata said. It wasn't a dream, said Mai. As Hinata turned bright red again, as she then passed out, as the girls sigh. About five minutes later, Hinata woke up again. Hinata, calm yourself, said Haku. Yeah, I'm calm, said Hinata. Okay, you remember what happened? What happened? Yes, Naruto kissed you. Hinata then turned red again, as the three of them hold on to her. Do not faint, they said. As they then heard a knock on the door. Hinata, I think you should go answer it, said Haku. But guys, when we end this episode right here, if you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. And stay in tune for what if Naruto had multiple people sealed inside of him. So yeah guys, without further ado, I'm out for now. Peace.